welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia and today I want to talk about some tips on how to do a mini not so professional pictures because professional pictures are just too darn high. <laughs> but I understand you're paying for someone's time and talent and sometimes it takes a while to get good pictures. I understand that but they're still expensive and and no one got money for that. <laughs> or at least I don't. I don't know. But. So if you want to try to accomplish some decent semi-professional pictures. Uh, then you came to the right place. And here are five tips on how to accomplish that. Uh, tip one. A backdrop. Now, my daughter isn't sitting down, so she technically doesn't have an actual backdrop. <laughs> um, so I usually have her laying down, so I guess it's like a background, I guess, still. Um, but I use a white blanket in most of my stuff. Um, in the video I'm about to show you, kind of shows you the blanket I use and kind of how I do it. Um... But when I mean like a backdrop, um, a background. Because, I mean, you don't really want a mess in the background. You don't want, like, random dirty carpet, dirty floor. Even if you clean, it still just doesn't look as good as if you got um, just a plain blanket, that, a cute little blanket or something like that. Um, my tips on the backdrop is basically something a solid color. Any solid color that goes with your child's... Oh, and there's my child. <laughs> okay, so I have a baby now in my arms, my child. <laughs> um, she was taking a nap, and I guess I was being a little too loud. Sorry. Um, but I gotta get this done, so let's continue. Uh, the first tip, of course, was a backdrop or a background. And I usually go for um, a solid color. Um, so it doesn't distract from the baby. If you have a crazy pattern, it's just going to throw off the whole picture and it's going to be, ma people are going to be mainly focused on the blanket and not so much your child. And yeah, so just a solid color, um, or at least a pattern that's not crazy. Um, I'm look at my notes. Tip two, make sure the baby is fed and is well rested because you don't want a cranky baby. <laughs> you don't want a baby that's just fed up and crying. So make sure it's um, after the eight and after a nap or either or. I mean, if they don't, you know, take a bottle right after a nap, then you can do it right after a nap because they'll be well rested and all happy. Um, or maybe 30 minutes after they eat because you don't want them, of course, um, getting too excited or being on their back or whatever right after they eat. So wait a little about like 30 minutes after they eat. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Tip three. Um, use natural light. Um, you don't need to buy expensive lights or anything to make it pop. You can just use what you have, which is the sun. And so do it in front of... Um, a window when the light's really good um what else yeah when the light's really good <laughs> or even do it outside um when the light isn't like too it's you know really good lighting um i like the early afternoon or mid afternoon i don't know the light is different everywhere so uh step three step three i went to step three Step four, props. Now, um, if you're crafty, you can make your own props. There are a lot of, or a good amount of videos on YouTube about how to make props. Um, some are very easy. You just put a pillow under a, your backdrop or whatever, make it kind of bumpy, make it, you know, so that you can raise them. Huh? 
um if you're not crafty of actually making like crochet stuff or anything like that you can buy those um either on etsy or target i've seen target have like crochet stuff now that's mainly for pictures or whatever and um her halloween pictures that i recently took she has a little witch hat like a little thing i don't know what it's called i have mom brain 24 something so the thing <laughs> with the little hat and i got it um at target for a dollar so and then i already had her shirt and the pants that i had on her um which i will insert a picture here of that picture <laughs> um but yeah uh, la, 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 step five yes step cinco yes <laughs> um get a good app that you can edit your videos and um add stickers and all that good stuff huh? i use baby story and um it's free but i believe you can pay for it to get additional stickers and little other stuff like that I've been doing very well with the free one. Um, I'm not very demanding about stickers, so <laughs> I do good. And I like free stuff, so. Um, but yeah, just get a really good app for me. Baby Story was a good app for me. Um, sadly, they didn't have any like, oh, first birthday, not first birthdays, first Halloweens or anything cute like that. The only thing they had was like the word boo. <laughs> um which I did put in the pictures to edit. Um, you know, at the end of this video, I'll show like more of um, the pictures I've taken before with this app or using this app to edit. Um, you can always brighten it, do the contrast, the other words, I have no clue what it means, but <laughs> you can do editing, regular editing stuff. Um, but yeah, a good app is usually good with those and that's it yeah those are my five tips on how to do a cute little or just a little mini photo shoot um, anything with the baby is cute, so. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more parenthood mommy baby videos. Um, I put a video out every other Wednesday. Um, it was every Wednesday, but with her skipping her naps and hard for me to, of course, record when she's napping. <laughs> Exhibit, example A. Um, I'm going to be doing videos every other week to try and, um, make it easier for me and the baby, but still every other Wednesday, you will have baby content from me. <laughs> so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you liked this video, because there are more to come. Comment below if you have any extra tips, maybe I didn't cover, um, I would love to see it. I love to learn how to make her pictures adorable, more adorable than they already are. <laughs> so yes. And, um, thank you for watching. Bye.